A key part of the standing exam for the lower, lower so again. A key part of the lower extremity malalignment sequence in the standing portion of the exam is the alignment of the distal tibia relative to vertical in the frontal plane. So you want to ask the patient to place their feet together, and this way we can properly visualize the lower extremity alignment and a frontal plane. So we want to just look here, and we can see Alana has some tibial varum. So in this position, we see that the distal tibia is inclined toward midline. So because of that uh, midline inclination, we have an elevation of the medial foot from the support surface. So when less compensatory pronation uh, at the midfoot or, or, or the rear foot takes place, then uh, we're going to have a lot of this uh, supinatory contact and, and potentially may result in fifth ray stress fractures and other sort of supinatory, supinatory issues. You can't see this in Alana's posture, but if the distal tibia is inclined away from midline, uh, we actually then have an elevation of the, of the foot from the support surface unless comport, uh, compensatory supination occurs. Uh, and this type of line may, may cause medial articular compressive stress and potentially lateral soft tissue tensile stress affecting the perineals as well as the lateral ankle ligaments.